Where was Yazer Prince? And why had Della run out on me that Monday morning, April 59? And why had this nasty little memory come back to me just now with such clarity? I had the feeling that the three questions walked hand in hand down the same crooked road. My job was to reach the crossroads before them. The stage curtains opened and the yapping stopped, replaced by a low expectant sigh. The joint crackle blew with energy, enough to fuse every goddamned electric eel in the sea. A leg appeared first, and then a body in a low-cut dress. Low-cut? Her dress was hugging the ground, and every stiff in that sleazy joint would have pawned his left eyeball to have taken its place. Jeez, I thought. Age has not withered her. When she moved, women became obsolete. There was just Della Peach. The song finished, and Della saw me. You want a drink, baby? The voice came out, a trifle hoarse. But I had the bit between the teeth, and after years of asking myself, why, 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 I wasn't letting go. She played it beautiful, eyes glowing, cat-like, in little slits of anticipatory pleasure. Her smile hit the wisdom of the snake. And then, slowly, gracefully, she eased herself into the corner table. A naked shoulder touched and singed my jacket. She was good. She'd had years to practice. It's been a long time, Clay, she whispered. Hell, just how do you follow a line like that? How do you tell a bra that she's the whore they built Babylon around? I felt my lips quiver. I looked her straight in the face and drowned in the greenness of her eyes. The groan was raw, a vile mix of rage and despair. How can you curse a dame for being what nature made her? Like all of her breed, Della was treacherous and dangerous, as beautiful as sin.